Welcome to this video on site plumbing sanitary systems. We're going to start by viewing a project we have created in the BIM Server Center. We can open the project and view the IFC file. We can view a 3D view of the building which we will be adding a plumbing installation to later. There is an HVAC and a water supply installation already installed in this building. We can open up site plumbing sanitary systems and give the project the same name as the BIM project we are working with. We then select the BIM project to import it. This screen is used to choose the configuration that you wish to work with in your project. You can enter your own data if you wish. You can see there's no information stored here yet. Down the right hand side of the screen there are a number of flags which represent the plumbing codes for that country. We are going to use the UK code for this example. And as you can see now, all the data from the UK code has now been imported. We now need to select the appropriate discharges for the toilets and sinks to be imported into our model. And as you can see, the import is now complete. We can view the different floors of the building to make sure that the discharges have been imported correctly. We can view the information of the discharges by simply clicking on them. We want to start the installation by adding a vertical foil water pipe and we want to choose a diameter large enough to meet all of the checks down the right hand side. We select the floors that we want the vertical pipe to go to and we can now add a second vertical pipe the same as the first one. We can move the labels from the pipes to make the drawing look cleaner. We now add a file water shallow inspection box. And we can now select a file water horizontal pipe and we can start to connect the discharges to the inspection box and to the vertical pipes as well. And again, we can move the labels to tidy up the drawing. We can see that the first floor has the same discharges in the same position as the second floor. So we can copy the insulation we've created on the second floor and we can paste it onto the first floor. Once again, we can move the labels to tidy up the drawing. The kitchen sinks on this template have no discharges yet. So we need to add these discharges manually. Once the installation is completed on the ground floor, we can add an inspection box outside of the building. We can connect the indoor installation to the inspection box outside of the building. A supply connection point is now needed before we can calculate the results. We connect the inspection box to the supply connection point. When we look at the 3D model, the installation does not appear yet. But once we click the 3D button, the model will update and we can see the installation in the 3D model. We can now update the results and we can see that we have errors on the screen. When we select a pipe, we can see what the error is and we know how to fix it now. To fix these errors, all we need to do is press the design button and it will calculate the correct size of all the pipes to meet the UK code that we are using. As you can see, all the errors have now disappeared and we can update the 3D model once again. The sizing of all the pipes is now correct, but from the 3D model we can see that we haven't added any ventilation yet. 
So we go to the roof of the building and we can move the labels from the vertical pipes and we can add air vents to the pipes. We want to fix the elevation of the vents to 1.5 meters. Once the vents are added, we can update the results, update the 3D model, and we can see the changes that we have made. The installation is now complete and we can view the reports for this project. We can view the wastewater network and the materials list. We can also view the drawings for the report. We can add all installation elements to the drawing. We can format the size of the drawing. We can move elements of the drawing. We can also view a graphical analysis of the installation. We can view the fill level of the pipes and the scale at the bottom of the screen can be seen. We can view the graphical analysis in the 3D model also. We can hide the building to make it easier to see the graphical analysis in the 3D model. We can change the graphical analysis to slope and see the results. We can now export this installation back to the project that we have been working on. We return to the BIM Server Center website to make sure the file has been exported correctly. We can now go back to the IFC builder and update the original IFC file to include the plumbing installation that we have just created. We can view the updated IFC now in the 3D model and see that our installation has been uploaded correctly and that it doesn't interfere with the HVAC installation or the water supply pipes. Thank you for watching this video.